Well, uh, good afternoon. Uh, at this point, you're probably wondering what's going on. Uh, first of all, it's Wednesday, May 5th, so happy Cinco de Mayo. But uh, I'm back uh, in West Virginia. I'm actually uh, pretty far from where I live. I've been planning this trip for about a month now and uh, got out here last night and had some time. I'm camping out here on this property and it's a big piece of public land. I was able to get my campsite set up and uh, got out last night to try to find some sign. Um, and then we had some weather move in, some real frustrating weather. Uh, it's pretty much been raining nonstop. It just stopped about a couple hours ago. It's about 4.45 right now and everything was wet. I went out this morning. I didn't go out first thing in the morning. There were thunderstorms and uh, probably about 10 a.m. I finally got out and just got drenched to the bone. And in the process of uh, hiking miles out there, I lost my GoPro, which had 95% of all the footage I've had in the past I don't know, 12 hours since I've been here. Actually, it's been almost exactly 24 hours since I got here. And, uh, yeah, gone. Uh, I could try to go track it and try to find it, but I did, I don't know, like seven miles this morning, and I don't think there's any way I'm going to recover it. It sucks, but um, I was able to get everything dry. My boots are still wet, but all my clothing is still dry. And the rain is supposed to hold off all tomorrow. It's like less than a 10% chance of rain. So the sun might pop out in the early morning and then uh, later in the evening. But hopefully they get fired up for me tomorrow with all the uh, miles I've put in. I think I've put in probably 12 miles since I got here and haven't found a single track, scratch, feather, dropping of any turkey. A lot of deer sign, but no turkey sign. So the spot that I've spent the last two days in, um, I'm scratching now. I'm going to a whole different area of this public and just trying to find some signs. So I'm sitting in a little parking area um, at the top of this ridge, and I'm going to be doing this the rest of the evening, just getting out and checking things out and seeing if uh, seeing if I can't get on some birds out here. But uh, so far it's been rough, and Mother Nature is not doing me any favors. Uh, we're looking at probably uh, 30, 38, 39 degrees tomorrow morning. So, again, Mother Nature is just sucking. So, i uh, got to play with the hand I'm dealt. I'm still excited to be out here. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully, I can stay warm overnight. And, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe we can get on a bird tomorrow. But either way, you'll see me in the morning. Appreciate y'all watching and uh, see you in the woods for tomorrow. Good morning. It's May 6th, and uh, got to a total new spot on this public today. Uh, listening down into these bottoms from this high point, it's about quarter to six, so it's just now legal shooting light. But I haven't heard any gobbles yet. I've been out here probably, I've gotten on this spot probably like 10 or 15 minutes ago. It's been difficult even conceptualizing trying to go after a bird out here because in between almost every ridge with all the rain we got is a straight on river so playing by here right now literally <laughs> gotta hear a gobble gotta get on something sit here for probably a few more minutes if I don't hear anything in this direction I'm gonna go behind me onto the other side and see if I hear anything there. Just try to find some turkey sign out here. Any sign of birds, so that's the first step. Let's see if I can do it. Alrighty guys, uh, that first spot I was in this morning didn't pan out, didn't hear any gobbles. I worked my way up to the edge of private. There were fields there hung out for 45 minutes or so and didn't hear a thing so I uh, scrapped that got out of there probably around 
8.45 and just hiked into this new spot right across the highway. You can probably hear the highway just behind me. You can actually see it. I'm just walking this road next to this older clear cut they got here and I found my first sign of turkey on this public after, I don't know, 15 miles of hiking and two days of scouting. And it's not fresh, but I haven't walked very far on this road and it's got me pretty excited. So it's the little things, you know, but uh, this road feeds up the mountain here and at the top it kind of flattens out and there's another clear cut. Looks a little more open than this, uh, but it's gonna keep my eye out for some more sign and uh, hope that we get something a little more fresh in this one. thirty now and I just got over this next hill. I'm way deep in here about almost three miles but I found the first definite sign of turkey scratching. Uh, that track I found was maybe a mile and a half from here so I don't know if the same bird but it looks kind of fresh going that way. That's a good sign I'm liking that see what we can find. Alrighty, got back to the truck here. It's just about one o'clock, it's like 1240 something. And I think I got a good move for tomorrow. Uh, from where I found that turkey scratch and all that other sign to here is quite a distance, probably close to three miles. But if I follow this road I came in on all the way around, there is a parking area up in there. And if I had known where I was going to come across the sign today, I would have parked up there this morning. But, you know, you can't tell the future. And I'm glad I put in the miles and ruled out most of this area behind me. Uh, the only thing is that uh, although it's nice right now, we got some pretty bad storms coming in tomorrow and then all day Saturday, uh, a lot like it was yesterday. And really not interested in going through that again. Uh, it, it's, it was a pretty bad washout and everything's still pretty flooded. So uh, my plan right now is to hunt the morning as long as I can. Uh, I think the rain's gonna hold off till at least 8 a.m. That should give me enough time to get up in that spot and see see if I can't hear a gobbler. I'll definitely try to get out and roost one tonight. Maybe here, maybe in another area around this public. But uh, as it stands right now, I'll I'll be over this that spot where I found all that sign tomorrow morning. And uh, sorry about the uh, lack of action on this trip. It's a uh, Hasn't been fun for me either, and I mean, I really enjoy getting out there and hiking, and putting in the miles and everything, and just coming up with the summary that uh, there's just not a lot of birds on this property, and that's okay. I, I've, I've obviously found where they are. It just took a while. You know, I wish I, I wish I found this spot yesterday or started here at least, but um, still happy I got it. I got a few hours to hunt tomorrow, and then I'll be calling it. But I'll definitely be hunting back in West Virginia. Uh, it's Saturday, maybe Sunday as well, but uh, until then, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Hopefully we get some action. Keep your fingers crossed and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's May 7th and uh, the rain looks like it's going to be holding off for a few more hours here now, coming until about 9 o'clock. I got up to this spot I got into yesterday where I found a lot of scratch. The first turkey sign I found out here. It's about 5.45 right now, so just about legal shooting light to the minute, so 
just haven't heard a gobble yet. Just gonna sit tight and uh, hope I can get something. Otherwise, I'll probably work around these points again and then call it a day. It sucks having to hunt till 1 p.m. and stopping, but it is what it is. Just gotta try to take advantage of the morning, take advantage of the, uh, the clear skies while they're here, and hope that I can get on a gobbler. It's just after 6. Just heard my first gobble somewhere down in this area. The only gobble once it was like literally eight seconds ago, so I'm gonna listen one more time. It's not far though, it wasn't far at all. Definitely on my right. So try to pinpoint him, see if I can make a move or maybe call him up to here. first time, waited for a second, got up and moved around, I was on the high spot behind me and I moved around to this high spot, private is right next to me and it kind of opens up into public in front of me, heard him gobble maybe three, three times, and it's been about, it's been about 45 minutes and haven't heard a peep. I wish it weren't so cold, it's about, it's about 40 degrees right now. So really hoping he'd keep gobbling. I don't know if somehow, the first couple, the gobbles I heard, he wasn't all that close. Definitely this ridge was in between the two of us, but just potentially he could have seen me. I didn't make a call until I sat down in this spot. He didn't gobble on anything I was throwing at him. I think what I'm going to do is get up, stretch my legs, try to relocate him. I don't, I don't have any clue where he went, but let's see if we can get a pin on him, get some kind of sign. Hopefully, he didn't cross over into private. Never know though. Once it starts raining, I'll probably back it up. Probably another hour or so. So hopefully we can get back on this bird and get him to come in. So let's see. Come from? Where did he come from? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Merry 
Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Stoned him. <sighs> he saw me. He saw me. Oh my God. Oh my God. I did it. I <laughs> Yes, sir. No way that just happened. All done. Rope on that bad boy. Nubby spurs. Here, all. That's the way I like them. Just the way I like them, baby. Well, guys, I'm pretty speechless right now. Uh, you know, I, I, I better start from, from the beginning, which is pretty much yesterday. Uh, I got into a different parking area of this spot. This little section of public has a parking area way, ways away from me uh, where there's some old clear cuts, and I found uh, my first turkey track of the year there. and. Uh, as I worked my way over to this section, it's about two miles from there, and uh, found just a lot of scratch. And I was very, very close to packing my stuff up and relocating yesterday and uh, trying my luck somewhere else because I had put in probably 20 miles of hiking out in these uh, mountains and hadn't found a sliver of turkey sign. And I've said several times, in order to kill turkeys, there has to be turkeys. So. Um, yesterday changed everything for me, uh, put in the miles and found this sign and uh, before I was leaving today I told myself uh, you're going to beat the rain, it's still not coming for another hour here and uh, I, I'll spend the morning hunting this mountain. So I got up on this ridge, there's a closer parking area probably a mile from here and got up on this ridge to listen and about 6.09 this guy fires off and uh, that's the best feeling in the world when when you're when you're down in the dumps and uh, you finally hear one gobble. It's amazing. And uh, I heard him, and I could tell in the general direction he was to my right, but I couldn't tell exactly where. So I stood up and got a better listening uh, point, and um, he gobbled one more time. And I could tell he was down the bottom and over the next mountain, which isn't hardly a mountain. It's a little hill, and I worked my way around this drainage and got up on that side and set up there and I hadn't called yet that morning and that was probably about 6.20 and uh, did my first calling sequence once I set up and uh, crickets, I, I didn't hear anything. And uh, I waited in that spot for about 45 minutes and finally decided to stand up and walk another 10 or 15 yards in front of me. And right before I crested the top of that hill and down into this bottom, uh, I have that rule, and I know I mentioned it in the opening uh, opening day hunt that I released for Virginia a few weeks ago, and uh, never never crest a blind spot or go over a hill without without calling a locator call, a hen call, whatever it is. Just to do everything you can to ensure that there's not a bird on the other side of that hill. And good thing I did, and uh, he fired off maybe 50 yards away, right down on this little little bench, and. Uh, that's that was I wish I was recording because my gobble face at that moment was pure panic I picked in the closest tree which is about from here to my left uh, probably like five or six steps and set up right away and just didn't make a call at all I knew he acknowledged where I was and I was just waiting and I could hear him spitting and as he worked his way up I was just scanning the horizon waiting for him to come in uh, Coming to sight, and that's one thing I try to do too. Is when I set up on these blind spots, in order for them to come over and see what's uh, what's in the area from where I was calling, they're gonna already be in range. So that's exactly what happened. He he popped up just to my 11 o'clock, and um, I saw his red head first, and he was looking hard, and he crossed in front of this or crossed behind this tree, and when he did, I switched my gun from my right knee to my left knee. And that's when he started putting. And as soon as he started putting, he turned around and went through the same opening he was in. It was a, a tight little window, but I nailed him. He didn't flop hardly at all. And uh, it sucks I didn't get it on the main camera. I'm pretty sure I got it on my gun camera, but 
yeah that hunt was i mean when it happens it happens quick so i mean it was done in less than an hour and 20 today and um you know it just doesn't happen though i put in well over 20 miles out here trying to find this bird and uh, he's definitely a two-year-old got tiny little spurs on him nice old beard you know he, i mean he's a beautiful bird and I, I couldn't be happier i was on the borderline of tears when i first shot him just that overwhelming emotion and uh, to get it done on a spot I've never been to in my life, travel this far from my house, and uh, you know, it, it gives me a boost of confidence. It's definitely something I'm going to be doing a lot more. And uh, like I said, it, it, it's tough at first, and I, I, the biggest thing was just not to give up and just to keep trying. And you know, I, I, I did exactly that. I, I kept trying, and uh, it panned out. So. I mean, there's not much else to do. I don't have cell service right now, so I gotta hike to a spot where I can get some cell service and um, tag this bird and get him loaded up, and then I'll pack up camp and I'll be back in Virginia by uh, this afternoon. Uh, maybe I'll be hunting tomorrow, maybe I won't, we'll see, but either way, uh, I really appreciate everyone watching. You know, we hit 100 subscribers this past month, and uh, it's pretty awesome to see that there's some people out there watching my stuff. and. Uh, you know, this is just what I do all the time. I started filming years ago, and uh, it's something that, since I hunt by myself so much, uh, it, it makes it so e so much easier to share this this kind of feeling, this kind of experience with the people that are missing out on it. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier right now. I really appreciate y'all's support, and uh, see you from the woods next time.